All right, welcome everybody. I am Nora and I am with Travel Leaders and I want to thank you all for joining us today. I get to introduce Alicia from Celebrity Cruises and I am very excited to see what she's going to share with us today. Um, I am dying to get back to the Caribbean and this image that you're showing, oh my gosh, I want to be on that ship right now. Um, very excited that you're here with us today and I, I just want to turn it over to you so that you can um, let us know what's going on. And um, if anyone listening, you have any questions, feel free to put it in the Q&A or the chat. I'll monitor those for you. And uh, we, we just thank you so much for being here, Alicia. I'll, I'll let you take it away. For sure, no worries. Thanks for the great introduction, Nora, and so thrilled to be here. Um, I'm Alicia Oksher. I'm a local market sales manager for Celebrity Cruises. Um, so I live in Hugo, Minnesota, actually. So I'm right here with all of you guys in the throes of winter. And like Nora said, I already can't wait to get back to the Caribbean. I know, you know we've only just gotten into some fall temps recently, but sure feels chilly coming from a 90 degree summer. So I know I'm eager and anxious to be looking for a vacation in the Caribbean so I can stay warm throughout the winter. So uh, without further ado, today we are going to be talking about cruising the Caribbean with Celebrity Cruises, a journey that's both safe and wonderful. I do want to just mention that I work very closely with travel leaders as well. So if you're looking for great agents in the Twin Cities that have wonderful expertise, um, definitely call up your travel leaders agent today if you're looking for more details and pricing, not just for your celebrity vacation, but any vacation. They're a wonderful group to work with. So with that, let's talk a little bit more about what we can offer you in the Caribbean. So at Celebrity, we were a smaller line affiliated with the Royal Caribbean Group, but we do offer a really robust Caribbean itinerary um, throughout a few different ships. So we've got 39 destinations in total, but 278 calls in port that are 10 hours or longer. I know some cruise lines, they kind of come in to port just for a couple hours and leave right away again. We make sure that if you're going to the Caribbean on Celebrity, that you are there to fully experience the destination. And then even 12 ports of call with 12 hours or more in port, which is even more time to be spent enjoying these wonderful warm weather destinations. Overall, we, we see 24 different countries in the Caribbean. So again, really robust Caribbean service. I did wanna take a moment just to focus on one of our wonderful ships, the Celebrity Equinox. And what we've got to offer for 2022 and 2023 Caribbean sailings, though I will say we have got some Caribbean sailings that depart yet this year. If you are eager and anxious to get on a ship, we are sailing right now, um, but just wanted to focus on something to plan for winter. We all know it's coming. So the Equinox has been recently revolutionized. So it has been fully refurbished and you can see she's looking sleek, modern, and just overall lovely. Here are a few photos of some spaces on board that we've redone. On the left here, we've got our wonderful craft brew pub. That's right, we serve craft beer on board now, which is really exciting. Um, we've got wonderful, you know, you can see the beautiful, bright, modern decor on our interior spaces. And something really cool about Equinox, it's part of our Solstice class ships, and it features, it features a quarter acre of real grass on the top deck. So you can see that lower right hand picture that is indeed some real grass that you're seeing and a beautiful large movie screen for some entertainment in the evening as well. Also new to Equinox, we have a wonderful space called The Retreat. This is for our suites class guests. So if you love traveling in ultra luxury, you know, beautiful modern interiors, The Retreat is something to be considered. You'll have a suite accommodation with these exclusive venues, such as this retreat sun deck, which is the photo that you're seeing here. There's also your own private dining restaurant called Lumine and a lounge as well. And we make sure that we include all the perks for retreat class guests as well. So your drinks, tips, Wi-Fi, and spending money is covered on celebrity if you're in the retreat as well. So wonderful way to set the tone for a fabulous vacation. All right, that all being said, let's get back to the Caribbean and sailing on the Equinox. Um, I just thought it was really wonderful that with these itineraries, we're trying to be really thoughtful about our audience that's traveling with us. We know a lot of people are, you know, working for a living and need to be cognizant of vacation time. So 
Um, we've got year-round sailings on Equinox, so although it's great to get away in the winter, you could consider this for a summer vacation as well. Lots of varieties when it comes to island destination and also length of sailing, so anywhere from 6 to 12 nights. Our summer Caribbean offerings only require five vacation days. So think about this. You could take a six night or eight night vacation, but only have to take five days off of work. So that is a really nice opportunity there as well. The six night itinerary is Key West, Grand Cayman in Mexico. And then our eight night itinerary is the Caribbean and Bahamas. So a couple ones to consider. Um, if you are strapped for time and it's difficult to get away from work, we've got your back. Couple itineraries that we'll feature as well. Um, here is a closer look at that six night Key West Grand Cayman in Mexico. Um, everything is round trip out of Fort Lauderdale. So nice, easy MSP Fort Lauderdale airfare. Again, seek consult from your travel leaders agent. They will be able to help you navigate the, the best airfare pricing as well. Um, but for this six night voyage, you'll see Key West, Grand Cayman and Cozumel. Two days at sea, so it's nice to you know fit in um, a couple days up at the pool deck or, you know, just exploring the ship, enjoying our entertainment, and then not to mention some fun in the sun with these great Caribbean destinations. The eight night itinerary, more time each equals more destinations, of course. So you've still got those two days at sea, but now we're going to Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, Tortola, and the Bahamas. So really great Caribbean offerings in that nice, neat eight night package as well. If you like to get away for a little bit longer, I know more time, again, is more destinations. Um, so we've got a wonderful nine night ABC Island. So Aruba, Bonaire and Curacao, that is also round trip out of Fort Lauderdale. Consider a 10 night Southern Caribbean itinerary. This features Martinique, which is not a typical cruise destination. So if you're looking for that something new in exploring the Caribbean on a ship, this might be a good itinerary to look at. Otherwise, we've got a wonderful 11 night ultimate Southern Caribbean. This includes Martinique and Grenada, another less traveled cruise destination as well. So look at all those beautiful islands. You get to see St. Lucia, Antigua, Barbados, and then St. Kitts and Nevis in addition to those two off the beaten path. Um, and then also for consideration, if you've got even more time, a 12 night ultimate Southern Caribbean vacation, again, round trip from Fort Lauderdale, but now you're including Grenada, Dominica, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. So you're kind of getting just a really robust Caribbean island offering. So something different in each port for sure. Okay, so all that being said, I think today I thought it would be really fun to just kind of test our audience out there and just see, are you a Caribbean expert? I think if you're looking at these questions and struggling to find the answer to them, you might wanna consider um, seeing the Caribbean firsthand for yourself and, and seeing these things come to life. Um, so we're gonna have a quick little quiz here today. Uh, what I'd like you to do is, you know, just keep track of your answers to yourself. We'll go through each question, um, answer to the question. And then at the end, if you have scored, uh, if, if you've gotten all the answers correct, I would love to send you a fabulous prize courtesy of myself and travel leaders. I've got a beautiful celebrity branded beach blanket. Um, it does not take on sand, which is so very new luxury. All right, so let's get started with our quiz. First question, which island has a sightseeing train that once transported sugar? Is it A, St. Lucia, B, Jamaica, C, St. Kitts, and D, Martinique. Only one is correct. I'll give you just a couple of seconds to answer. I'm sure our agents at Travel Leaders know exactly the answer to all of these questions. They are so well-traveled themselves, and um, I know many of them have probably seen this destination. All right, let's find our answer. It is C, St. Kitts. It's the St. Kitts Scenic Railway, and it transported sugarcane from plantations to Bestere, which is the capital city. Um, it's a narrow gauge vintage train, so now it's kind of a fun shore excursion activity, great for families, and a beautiful way to see the island as well. So you'll cruise by some beautiful plantations along the coast. Um, all in all, a great consideration if you should find yourself in St. Kitts one day. 
St. Kitts, this is a nice island photo of the, the Petons. This is, these are the two volcanic islands that are kind of very iconic to St. Lucia. Um, so it's, it's a wonderful, um, just very lush and green island destination. Okay, question number two. Which of these islands have no rivers? Is it A, Jamaica, B, Antigua, C, Dominican Republic, or D, Bahamas? If you're a true travel pro, you see I have included a clue in the photo. All right, everyone ready with their answer? It is B, Antigua has no rivers or lakes. And although this makes the island very prone to drought, the benefit is that there are very, very few snakes on this particular Caribbean island as well. So if you should find yourself in Antigua, you can um, enjoy the scenery snake free, which is always a really nice perk. I know we kind of have that in Minnesota in some areas. Um, also worth exploring in Antigua, English Harbor, you can see it's just a very beautiful, lush green area. Um, and then all the wonderful little sailboats are in there too. So a great area to stroll along, see the sights, and of course take in this beautiful, beautiful island. All right. So question number three, which island has the world's oldest rum distillery? Is it A, Martinique, B, Jamaica, C, St. Croix, or D, Barbados? If you're a rum aficionado, I'm sure you know the answer. It is D, Barbados. So since 1703, Mount Gay Rum has operated in Barbados. Um, they offer a really great tour um, that just kind of showcases how rum is made from sugarcane, and then they allow you to do a little bit of a tasting, which is really fun too. Um, if you're a true um, rum aficionado, the different varieties that they produce are called Eclipse, which is its flagship brand, and then Extra Old. Um, so you could buy these at the store as well. So nice, fun thing to do um, here in Barbados. Also a really great place to explore in Barbados is Bottom Bay. Um, you can see this is just such a beautiful beach area, um, kind of those wonderful windward trees, um, and then the gorgeous white sand as well. So Barbados, definitely high on the list when it comes to traveling in the Caribbean. All right, our next question here, which of these islands is the smallest? St. Kitts, St. Martin, Dominica or St. Croix? Now I know our travel leader experts know the answer to this one, I'm sure of it. Um, I'll let you record your answer. All right, and the, the answer is a St. Kitts. It is the smallest, not just in geographic square footage, it's actually an area of about 100 square miles. Um, it's also the smallest in population as well. So as of 2020, St. Kitts and Nevis um, was estimated to be only about 53,000 people. So uh, uh, the smallest Caribbean island that is out there right now. St. Kitts, although it's small, it is mighty when it comes to seeing some really beautiful things on this island as well. I'm not sure how many people might have seen a black sand beach, but this is a great photo of one. You can see it's, uh, you know, really different from those white sand beaches that are typical amongst the Caribbean. Black sand beaches are usually coming from more volcanic regions. Um, so the sand that washes ashore is, you know, more of volcanic uh, origin than the rest of the Caribbean here too, but a beautiful site nonetheless. All right, our next question here. So who doesn't love chocolate? I know um, the Caribbean is known for producing some wonderful, wonderful varieties of chocolate. Um, most islands have a climate that is conducive to um, supporting the cocoa bean, as you see pictured here. But which island actually does not produce chocolate? This is a really irregular thing in the Caribbean. Is it A, Aruba, B, St. Lucia, C, Grenada, or D, Dominica? If you're a chocolate fan, you might be sad to find yourself in Aruba. Aruba actually features a really dry climate um, and it's not suitable for growing um, cocoa beans. 
So whether on any of the other islands that are listed here, St. Lucia, Grenada, Dominica, are all great destinations um, for producing chocolate. And actually kind of a fun um, shore excursion in St. Lucia is to go to the Jane Mountain Resort. They have a tree to bar tour. So I know that's something we definitely don't have around here in Minnesota, but you can see how cocoa is um, refined and produced to become chocolate as we know it today. And of course, there is a tasting as part of it too. So fun little shore excursion in St. Lucia, um, but Aruba, kind of nice to see that new dry climate, you know, something a little different in the Caribbean as well. Also lovely to see in Aruba, the beautiful flamingos that are all around the island as well. Um, and yeah, they really are this wonderful bright pink as well. Um, Aruba features a lot of different culture, a lot of different, um, you know, animals, different, um, you know, weather dynamics as well. So it is a really interesting island to see in its own right. Okay, so all that being said, are you a Caribbean expert? How did you do? Maybe it's time to take that trip. It's time to see all these destinations firsthand. Uh, take that tree to bar tour so you can see how chocolate is produced. Uh, maybe enjoy a rum tasting, relax on a black sand beach. Lots and lots of things to do in the Caribbean. Um, so if you went through the quiz today and you are the winner, you scored correctly on all of the questions, uh, please email your name and address to Nora at TVL Leaders. That's Nora at TravelLeaders.com. And then we'll make sure that you get one of these amazing beach blankets. Once again, it does not take on sand. So a really new luxury way to enjoy those black sand beaches or any type of beach that you might want to relax on. Okay. So why book now? You know, I know um, things are still a little uncertain, but there are benefits to booking now if the time is right for you and your family. Um, just know we at Celebrity are cognizant of the here and now. And when you travel with us, we've got you covered. We've got a couple different programs that will allow for varying levels of assistance, you know, should you need some throughout the voyage. Um, first and foremost, cruise with confidence, nice way to acknowledge, you know, dollar for dollar, everything that you've spent with us. So if you happen to decide on booking a voyage um, anytime between now and the end of the month, if you choose to cancel for any reason, you just, you know what, you don't feel comfortable, you're just not ready to go, um, you know, something happens, you just are not able to take that sailing, we will offer you a 100% future cruise credit for every dollar you've spent with us, no questions asked. You just need to let us know 48 hours prior to departure. Another piece that we are here to assist with is our COVID-19 assistance. So if you book a sailing, um, between now, or if you book a sailing and you are actually going on that sailing before the end of this year, just know that we've got your back should, should you happen to test positive for COVID-19. Um, if that happens anywhere from two weeks prior to the trip up until the day of embarkation, we'll give you a 100% refund. Um, if it happens on the voyage, we will prorate your trip to offer you a refund. And I think most importantly, we will offer assistance to you know get you home, ensure that you're taken care of should this be happening abroad. And if you require any medical attention, we are prepared and ready to assist with that as well. And then of course, I should mention Cruise of Confidence and the COVID-19 assistance are complimentary, no additional cost. If you do um, book traditional travel insurance, Cruise Care is our product. So it's a nice way to have some coverage, you know, for any sort of trip interruption, um, medical coverage, you know, things of that nature. Just know cruise care is at an additional cost, but our experts at Travel Leaders can fill you in on that as well. I think um, a great way to just showcase how we are handling um, the pandemic on board and changes that we've made to keep you safe, I've got this great video that will just so concisely tell you everything that we're doing on board and how we're making sure that cruising is one of the safest vacations in the world.
Well, there you have it. Lots of great protocols taking place to make sure that you and your family stay safe aboard. Uh, just to recap quickly, vaccines are required for those who are eligible. Children 11 and under, because they are not eligible to be vaccinated currently, um, we just require that instead they submit a negative COVID test. And in fact, everyone needs to submit a negative COVID test two days prior to embarkation. And then as you saw in the video, we are providing that return testing to get back into the US. So really, really great protocols. And we're trying to make sure that it's easy. All you have to do is show up and relax, just like the video said. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, excuse me. Um, so another great reason to book a celebrity cruise is that drinks, tips, and Wi-Fi are always included. So it's a really great way to have that luxury experience on board. Excuse me. <coughs> um, so as you can see, drinks, tips, Wi-Fi always included in every package that you would book with celebrity. So you can choose to upgrade based on your needs. So if you need more robust Wi-Fi, you can um, elevate your package to indulge. Maybe you're looking at including an onboard credit with your sailing. Lots of ways to customize these offerings to suit your need. And definitely seek out consult from our experts at Travel Leaders. They will find you the right level for your budget to make sure that you're getting the, the inclusions that you need. All right. And because I think we're all asking ourselves this question, isn't it time? Isn't it time to journey safe, journey wonderful? Uh, we at Celebrity are offering up an amazing offer right now through November 1st. 20% off cruise fare for any sailing through the end of December of 2022. That's right. So sailings all through next year are 20% off. You just need to book by November 1st. It applies to all stateroom categories. Um, so definitely call up your travel agent today and make sure that you're getting that availability and pricing. And I highly, highly recommend booking with travel leaders as well. They've got great pricing even better than you might find direct with us. They've got amazing group rates with low, low cost rates that include all these great perks. Again, amazing expertise. I work with them one-on-one -on -one to make sure they are all celebrity experts and they'll offer you help every step of the way. So they're not just booking your cruise, they're making sure that door to door, you're getting a full, wonderful, relaxing vacation experience. So definitely give them a call when you're ready to make your travel plans. And with that, I'll say thank you so, so much for your time and joining us today. Um, I hope that you found yourself the winner of the, the fabulous prize today. Be sure to let Nora know. Um, and I'll take any questions that anyone might have. Alicia, great presentation. I absolutely loved it. I'm going to repeat you. my email to anybody who, um, who has won the qu quiz. My email is Nora, N-O-R-A, at tvlleaders.com. Uh, I don't see any questions right now, but Alicia, I, I absolutely loved it. Have you been on a uh, cruise yet this year? I have actually. Um, great question, Nora. I had the opportunity to take um, my family and I, we went to Greece on the Celebrity Apex and it was amazing, Nora. It was so great to, you know, just be back out sailing, to have such a normal feeling experience and to know that we were safe, you know, with a effectively 100% vaccinated ship and testing beforehand. I don't think there's a safer way to travel right now. Oh, I'm jealous. It truly sounds wonderful. I absolutely love it. <laughs> love to well, make sure I'm you get gonna... out there, Nora. Yes, I'm going to I'm going to close it out for today. But thank you again, Alicia, for all of your time for anyone uh, watching. Uh, feel free to reach out to us anytime. We look forward to working with you on your next celebrity cruise. All right. Thanks, thank you, everybody. everybody.